Welcome to the KBJ After the Sure Podcast for your Tuesday, your Giving Tuesday, and also for National French Toast Day. Giving? Somebody's giving nipple on KBJ TV. You see that? I do. Yeah, KTS. birds letting it all hang out. KTS, baby. Yeah. You get a little bit more for this one. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Nice, uh, hot, kind of Hawaiian Bigfoot surfing shirt that is a button-up he's got uh, on his blingy dinosaur necklace very impressive that was a gift as well and you did say thank you yes this shirt amazon prime okay how much i think it's a good good deal that's i put 11 of them so you'll see different versions of hawaiian bigfoot It'll, it's gonna get tired pretty quick <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, went, I went a little too big on a certain style. That was always my knock on Old Navy. I love Old Navy because mm-hmm. you could walk out with 17 sacks of shirts for you know eleven dollars, at least back in the day. But they all kind of looked the same, but different colors. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same design. It's the same odd T- cut. Tired ass <laughs> cut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's got the same tired ass cut too. <laughs> but those at least are colorful and popping. It's a it's a statement. I like Ralston's outfit today. I know we're all giving each other hand jobs right now. <laughs> yeah. Mine's uh, mine's Lululemon. Oh. oh. A little different. Definitely different. No. Lululemon? Mm-hmm. Lululemon. Mm-hmm. That's fancy shit right there. It is fancy. It is, but I uh, do the bargain rack at Lululemon because, yeah, their regular price stuff is too much. Do you know uh, if you buy online and you're a nurse, you get a hefty discount? I did not know it because I'm not a nurse. Well, you know somebody who is. My sister. Oh, sister. Oh, okay. uh, that's we, right. She's a nurse, isn't she? We use her code and we get like, I think like 20, 30% off. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's just my speed because, yeah, they're... Stuff regularly priced is just outrageous. Yeah, Lulu, bring it down a bit. Yeah. Your leggings, and simmer down. Start mm. serving some fucking cookies because it sounds like you have baked goods there and it's. It Lulu yeah. lemon cookies? Yes. <laughs> Things, I Lemon that, tart, maybe. I, I, I honestly thought it was one of those fancy fuck cookie places, <laughs> you know, because they were all all trendy. Go Lululemon, okay. Fan, and I found out they're a legging store. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I haven't I haven't done a dive into the name or what Which, it is. But. It's odd because if you eat a bunch of lemon pastries, your ass should not be in leggings. Leggings are hot. I think I know what leggings are. Do I know what leggings are? Yeah, you know what leggings are. Yeah. They're like a, a thick tight. Yes. So they show everything. They give you a BP, a bone piece, a bone piece. Yeah, you like those. I two do love them. Yeah, yeah, I think they're great. Now th- there is Virginia's right though. There is a limit to where I've seen some people that are in them that I don't know. Look, it's probably one the best call. If you don't have a good body, you should not be in leggings. And, and, but it doesn't stop people. I think it gives you some flexibility. I don't know that you need to be. Oh my gosh, I'm completely like a gym rat type of form i think that there are it it is somewhat forgiving but yeah there is a limit still i think that you know you've got some fluctuation there but i've seen people that you know we're probably way past that point and uh i mean if if you if you have uh an abundance of extra weight on you leggings probably aren't the way to go yeah i would say maybe choose a sweat pant instead yeah but there hey there are people that uh, get down with that too they're like no i put it on baby or you I can like put on it. a legging and a long shirt that works uh-huh. look this just in uh, v caitlin ralston is in our chat room they serve donuts at the rosemary square location at lululemon they oh, that's do right. yeah, she snagged one yeah they were my family went in there the other day were they and, lemon donuts uh, i don't know i was i stayed in the car so i usually don't do the shopping what she ran in with the queen what's that fancy cookie place everyone's always talking about crumble crumble that's what I thought it was, one of those kind of places. <laughs> Crumble still hitting? Crumble isn't as popular as it was a year ago. A year ago, the line was out the door. People were losing their minds for these crumble cookies. I think people just realized, damn, these are 
expensive ass cookies. Dude, and the are... novelty of the newness of Crumble has worn off. Do they have a a the same menu or do they they make new shit? They make new shit okay. every week. Yeah, you got a couple new fancy places like the Crumble Cookie that's uh, dropping. I uh, know the Square got. I think it's Salt. It's a Miami-based donut place. Yep. It just opened up. I don't know what the difference on that is, but I that, guess it's That expensive. Sloan's over there in Rosemary Square, the Square, whatever it is. That Sloan's is amazing. Mm, it is nice. I mean, they've got good stuff in there. I highly recommend that. And that's local. That's not like some big corporation like your Lululemon cookies. Yeah. That is a local company that you're supporting right here that was mm. started in West Palm. By the way, I personally think anyone should or can wear leggings. If you want to wear leggings... I agree. It. That's I'll what I'm be, saying. I don't, I don't want this. Go, baby. What this go. Is talking about. <laughs> Whatever you're comfortable in. I say, if you want to wear leggings, wear leggings. Mm. Someone's always got some bullshit to say. So <laughs> wear what mm. you wear. And KJ said, yeah, it's the salty donut, I think is what it's called. So, yeah, that's there. There's some real new fancy places. Man, if you have not been to the square in West Palm Beach lately, boy, massive changes. They bulldoze that whole entire building where the movie theater yeah. and the improv, that thing is Debrio, just rubble. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's, it's rubble. It's weird to drive through there. Yeah, it is crazy. And they're not even close to done. So they've oh, got no. the new building that is coming up where the Macy's was, that 21-story apartment complex. That's going to be open sometime in the spring, they say. I know they got a big fight going on right now with uh, the gym there, L.A. Fitness, because L.A. Fitness said in their lease they signed in 2012 that no other place is allowed to have a gym, but they want to have a gym in the nice apartment complex. Oh. Yeah, so that's a little fight going on. A gym fight. Yeah, gym fights. Uh, <laughs> they're going to be knocking down the... Uh, what is the uh, not mac not macaroni grill? What the heck is the name of it? Um, cheese cheesecake cheese factory. Cheese factory. Thank you. They're yeah, knocking it down, huh? Yeah, that comes down. That's supposed to be a three-story uh, Apple store. Whoa! And then the Publix is going to get knocked down for a tower that's going to come up, and they're going to put the Publix back on the bottom floor of that tower. That Publix it was weird, though. It is. It's a small. Ill-designed Publix, I think. I think it's just, it's not laid out right. It's not feng shui. It reminds me of me being in a dream, and I'm in Publix, but nothing, everything's weird and off. And I'm like, eh, it doesn't fucking look right. It's like bizarro Publix. It's bizarro Publix, it is. It mm. just... It throws off the equi equilibrium. Yes, it does. <laughs> Which is hard to say. Yes. When yeah. you're thrown off. It does. It, it's tough. <laughs> so were the improv and Copper Blues, Brio, movie theater, all that was, that's going to be three new towers that are going to be coming up. Not uh, one, there. not two, but three. Three. Yeah. So. It's a, such a shame. I mean, I loved that Copper Blues so much. That improv was awesome, too. It's just like, wow. It was probably the thing that bums me out the most is just the price points on some of the stuff it seems like the prices are getting absolutely insane in that area i, I told you about how uh the queen and i we went to the it's a nice restaurant but i think a lot of those places are from wall street new york we went to the one place uh that's in the new red and black building where they got all the finance places and we got a glass of wine i think it was 20 25 bucks and we're like Ugh. per glass yeah oh yeah that's not happy hour uh, no that 25 dollars a glass it does not say happy no. that sounds like lululemon wine it, it was <laughs> yeah were yeah. you wearing those lululemon pants maybe when you walked in they were like oh this no. guy's fancy as fuck he's no. got a lululemon we're gonna charge him double uh -uh, no it's just like a bomb uh that that puro vida is very nice but that's not cheap either that and, is beautiful that little store is gorgeous and we'd even gone to planta and got some cocktails at happy hour and we're kind of shell-shocked by that so that's the only thing yes it is nice but man the prices are freaking crazy so i am kind of bummed as they do remake the square that it's not going to be maybe your square a yeah <laughs> you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take it down to clematis yeah you're gonna have to try to find something more affordable for happy hour because 25 bucks a glass i'm no. sorry on principle alone even if i won the lottery i'm not paying 25 dollars for a glass of wine at happy hour so let me just talk about the square the name already sounds like you're i don't know the square 
Yeah, I, they got pretentious just on the name. They're trying to. T- it, they're it, trying to let you know. It sounds like they're trying. You're trying to be trendy, mm-hmm. and for it just it, it kind of borderlines cringy a little bit to me. The square. <laughs> I don't know. Look at me. Bring wear, your wallet. I'm wearing a Bigfoot surfing shirt, so yeah, they don't want your kind. It's a square. I don't no. think that I'm their demographic, <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. Not everybody belongs in the square. I'm the circle. The circle K. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we still got those around, right? Mm-hmm. No oh, doubt. they love your act in a circle K, and, and I love theirs. Mm-hmm. So where do you uh, enjoy buying your clothes the most now? Where do you get them, Bird? Do you go, is it Amazon where you got that shirt? Is it Walmart? I know you bought a lot of things there. I do a lot of, uh, yeah, I usually buy a lot of stuff off online stuff now. Okay. Because I like a lot of weird stuff, and there's not a lot of weird stuff out. My kind of weird stuff. A brick and mortar is not going to hold yeah. a place that's so niche Exactly. It's yeah. just easier to get some cool stuff online a lot of times. Mm-hmm. But I also like uh, I like going to secondhand places, too. I think that's very fun to do. Yeah, it's a good little hunt. Those places oh. have started to get a little bit more expensive, too. I they noticed. are. Man, I went thrift store shopping in New York City now. Okay. It was New York. The hipster town. I couldn't believe the balls on this yeah. resale shop. They were charging, like... A janky little like ashtray. I flipped it over to see fifty dollars. I'm like, get yeah. the fuck out of here, Magnolia. Get your stuff. We're leaving. You're seeing the same stuff. Get out of here. On eBay, where people just because it's vintage and old, just because it's vintage doesn't mean it's necessarily worth that kind no. of money. No, this was the most basic little janky old vintage ashtray. Nothing special. Not worth fifty dollars. You're smoking something well, if you think I'm gonna pay. Fifty dollars for that. You could ask fifty bucks for any something like that, but it doesn't it doesn't mean it's worth fifty dollars. No, right. And that's what just annoys me when I go in a store like that and I see the prices so askew. I'm like, buy. I'm not giving you a dollar. I've noticed that with some pretentious, and you see it in every kind of community. But I'll go to those toy shows, and I notice even in the, in the last year or two, the toy collectors, the ones selling the vintage toys, mm. a lot of them got a pricky vibe to them. Like, oh, yeah, like, oh well. Yes, it's a, it's a rated five on so I know what I have. Yeah. I know what I'm selling. Don't try to come with a low ball <laughs> yeah, offer. It's, it's an attitude. It's an attitude. Look, you're at a flea market, you fucker. This is where we bargain. We're not paying top dollar for an old toy. And you should bargain for that kind of stuff. And take off your leggings. You're too fat. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Sir? <laughs> yes. A man in leggings looks weird. I just don't approve of that look. I t- you got to think about leg. I think anybody can wear legs. I'm a leggings man. I like leggings. <laughs> you don't wear leggings. I'll wear them tomorrow. <laughs> Please do, yeah. I'm going to wear some fucking leggings. <laughs> Is there a reason why guys don't wear leggings more often? <laughs> because you can see your whole moose knuckle. That's what I thought, yeah. It's all c- because you can see your dick. And, and it smush it, it's, it all in. Yeah, it can kind of... Look, in, no, I, situation. I do see a lot of athletes now will wear the leggings, but they have they always put shorts over them. And I think it's all because about seeing the peen, right? Yeah. My son Tanner will do that every now and then. I think if you have on that tight thing against the peen, like. Right, exactly. That's where you would just, you would see the whole thing. Well, right. Don't girls run the wrist, too, if you don't have a, you know. We don't have what you have. We got a couple of little lips. You do? <laughs> if it's done right. Some now, girls don't have just little lips. <laughs> I've <laughs> seen some girls in leggings that shouldn't be in leggings because the lips look a little too chunky. I t- see, you're you're fat you're fat shaming labias, and I don't think that's cool. I don't want to see the whole labia. I do. She went from fat bodies <laughs> to fat puss. I know you're a fat shaming motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you got a little bit of a plump puss, Virginia. I don't want you in like Yeah, and I don't think that's right. It's too much for me. It's I don't want to see the whole entire outline of your vagina. Look, I'm not easily offended. <laughs> mm-hmm. Leg it up. You like it. Fuck <laughs> I'm a single dude, though. I mean, <laughs> it is kind of fun to see. It's not. You know. <laughs> Kevin, <okay. laughs> Kevin fun likes to see. it. Too. I mean, come on. It's kind of fun to see a camel toe. Well, yeah. you should have been at the LaGuardia Airport. I could not believe the amount of camel toe I was looking at. It was alarming. 
Really? Well, I think what happens is, you know, girls, when they're in New York, they got a big coat on. And okay. then when you go in the airport, you take your coat off and you take your layers off because it was hot in the airport, which is weird. So all these girls were taking all these layers off. And then they were literally just standing there in sports bras and tight leggings. And I'm like, holy wow. camel toe. Okay. It was all around. A lot of it looked good, but some of it didn't look good. Let me ask you this. Does the Kevin Ralston, does he get turned on or a bone piece with a little CT action, a little camel toe? I don't know about turned on is the right thing, but it definitely draws the eyes in. Okay. It depends on the girl. I mean, yeah. if she looks good, if she's got that thing high and tight, then yeah, I think most guys would catch a bone piece. I, I'm, 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 like, I'm, yeah. I'm not in a pervy way. I'm just saying if, you know. You're just a man. I'm just a man when I say yes. It depends. Usually where it's so obviously noticeable, you're not necessarily attracted. You're more like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Why is she doing that to us? Yeah. She's like, whoa. Hey, now. Whoa. Hey, now. No, so it's got accidental camel toe. Right. That's cute, but yeah. No, I I think camel toe is awesome. I just say, you don't want to like be staring at someone's camel toe. Well, there's camel toe and there's moose knuckle. And to me, I think they're two different animals and they're two different looks. Moose knuckle for, for women? Yes. Give, explain. It is like this, and it's just out. Camel toe <laughs> okay, is a slight. Right. It's a cute little like because there's a hint, <laughs> but a moose knuckle is the protruding. It looks like she might have testicles. A camel toe can be delicate and petite yes. and feminine. A moose knuckle looks like yeah, she might you know be packing. It's a fat puss. It's it's a lot. And what's wrong with that? Are you fat shaming puss now too, Kevin? <laughs> I'm just saying that it's the difference. Look, the bird don't care if it's fat. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying there's a difference. A camel toe goes more of the short, short cookie, and the moose knuckle goes more of the long cookie. That's true. I think that's just the two differences. At least that's the way I understand life. I think life. you like playing in both leagues, then. I think you short, can. short cookie. And, I there's like nothing wrong with like it. CT. Look, that's why there's more than one cookie out there. Get your yeah. cookie on. All you can eat cookie. Look, I, there are so many cookies. So many people love all kinds of different cookies. It's a that's buffet. Fine. It is yeah. a buffet of cookie. Oh, I, 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 I think it's a great conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on what you're into. We went from crumble cookies to, you know. Real short cookies. cookies. <laughs> short, short cookie. You see, I think you said you've had a short cookie. That's why you're fat shaming other cookies, because you got you don't know what it's like. I have a short cookie, and I would never even wear some of these leggings that I saw yesterday in LaGuardia Airport. Even with a short cookie privilege situation like mm-hmm. I have going on, these leggings were like rubbing the inside of her fallopian tubes. I couldn't believe how tight they were. They looked like they went inside her body. Wow. And they were so thin, too. That's a big part of it, too. If your legging is super, super, super thin, we can see more of what you've got going on. And that was the problem in the LaGuardia Airport. Hmm. Somebody uh, texted in. They said camel toe, la penca. Ooh. Is that how you would say camel toe in Espanol? La penca. La penca. Hmm. It kind of makes it sexier. La Tuaria. <laughs> Latuadia Airport. Yeah. <laughs> I'm flying out of Latuadia. <laughs> I mean, oh. You make it sound like it was just a raining poon. Jaybird. <laughs> okay, we had a flight delay. So Mama was bored, and I was just like, all right, I'm going to amuse myself by scanning the crowd. And we were flying Spirit Airlines because I like flying cheap. And it was interesting. There was a lot of Latuadia. Yeah. It was fun, though. It certainly gave us a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I love people watching. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, somebody said that uh, La Penca, yeah, that's what you would say. It's slang in Puerto Rico. La Penca. La Penca. La Penca and La Tuaria. (laughs) (laughs) So much. I mean, Kevin, does she not make it sound like it is the Christmas of Poon? Well, and what happened was where we were sitting and where we were standing, it was right next to this bar. And so they delayed our flight an hour and everybody was like, all right, let's get a drink. Then they delayed our flight two hours, and everybody's like, all right, we're still drinking. So all of these girls just kept shedding layers of clothing, and they were drinking, and it was right. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. Latuadia was amazing yesterday. 
LaGuardia Airport. <laughs> Sounds like fun. There's good people watching there, huh? And it's such a it's a tight gate. If you've ever flown out of LaGuardia, okay, gate, tight gate, huh? Gate A. Okay. Spirit Airlines Gate A. There were so many people jammed into this one space. It was like they had half the chairs they needed. So you had people on top of people on top of people, and just lots of camel toe was out. I have to keep that in mind if I pick an airport to fly into New York on. I'm fly to Little Twadia. Little Twadia. <laughs> uh, since we're learning a little language here, yesterday, Jaybird, you said you were getting into French because of a Billy Joel song. Yes. Mm-hmm. C'était toi. Où c'était toi? Où c'était toi? Mm-hmm. Lauren, a loyal listener who moved to Paris, France, she said, yes, I do speak French. C'était toi? Means literally, it was you. Jason's pronunciation was good, but it just sounded a little funny because he was kind of saying it like he was phrasing it as a question. Ah, uh, uh, see, that's why I brought it up. I'm getting the pointers. Is it you trying to get? It's always me. Mm-hmm. It, is, it is me, Taylor and Billy. Uh, she said, but uh, yes, depending upon the context, it could also mean you were the one. Ooh. I think that's what the song. Yeah, it's it's more what, what the vibe he's going for. You were the one. Okay. Uh, Lauren said, I am also the girl that used to send you Jason's acronyms and initials. I haven't done them in a while because he doesn't use them as often. But there are a couple I have collected recently. I-I. Do you remember what I-I was? You gave them I-I, it says. I gave them something in security. I gave uh-huh. them a, iguana in security. Iguana. That's a good guess. It is <clears throat> ice cream. Ice, ice, ice insecurity. insecurity. You gave somebody ice insecurity. Yes. If you go to a WJP, what were you going to, Jaybird? A week. We could have ourselves a WJP. Oh no, that um, that would be a uh, par- something party. Uh huh. It's got to be a. Wow. It'll be the WJ part. WJP. Uh, whiskey weed. W- Wookie jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Wookie jelly. No, How many W's are there? One, WJP. Oh. WJP. Uh-huh. What would that be? It is put the P is for party. A week. A week. No. Uh, a, a wank jank. A, a wank jerk party? <laughs> Whoa. All right. Well, you know what's on his mind. <laughs> Stop inviting Kevin to your party. You are the one. <laughs> C'était toi. C'était toi. C'était toi. You and your wanker. Wonder joint. Party. Oh, wonder joint wonder party. Wonder joint party. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm, fun. I think we probably remember the BALs. BALs. Bitch ass lungs. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, some more from 2022 was the your MBNs. What are your MBNs? Maybe you could have a tally of your MBNs. Ooh. Like how many per week? What would be your MBNs? Your. That was an acronym you came up with for Nutella masturbating numbers. <laughs> Your MBNs. Oh, M- have you ever masturbated with Nutella? MBN. No, I have not. Would you? I think with a person, I would. Oh. I, I would Nutella in the bedroom, I think it'd be fun. One, two, three, not in. <laughs> Suits. 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 You're the newest. <laughs> Looks like you're getting it with the Nutella. <laughs> You tell him my work as lube. But you vanilla fuckers would never even think. Well, first, it's too many calories for Kevin. Right. Kevin can't do Nutella. It's too many calories for his dick hole. <laughs> too, many, too much chocolate will get down his Aretha Franklin. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, you're talking about uh, FAF, talking about Virginia. Uh, Virginia is FAF. Fine fake. as fuck. No. Oh, Fine yeah. as fuck. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fake ass something. Fancy. Fake. Fancy f- as fuck. She's, she's fake ass fancy. Fake ass fancy. She's straight up redneck. Mm-hmm. Fine as fuck. <laughs> that is not <laughs> what I meant. <laughs> uh, this was one you came up with for a Joe Biden blink challenge. I did. I got political? <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden blank challenge. Biden blank challenge. I do not remember getting <laughs> political. I try to say, I try to. Oh, I think what it was, uh, remember he was just staring off into the camera one time and he didn't blink for the longest time. And I think we put the video in front of you and we want to see if you could win a staring contest against Joe Biden. 
I don't even remember that. Yeah, I think I vaguely remember that now. And you said you got EBFs from it. You got EBF from it. Do you remember e what the acronym EBF was? I got eyeball. Mm -hmm. I got eyeball fucked. No, I couldn't have said that. By Joe Biden? No, I don't know. <laughs> Did he use Nutella? Gosh, it'd be something to see, wouldn't it? <laughs> Joe Biden face fucks you with Nutella? Joe yeah, that'd Biden's be pretty awesome. old ass skull fucking bird. <laughs> that would be what? so great. Hey, how did we get here? <laughs> Guys, that'd be a visual. Oh, sign me up. Wow. It, take my money. Who oh. says we don't deal with politics? <laughs> <laughs> On this, we will. <laughs> what does that stand for? Eyeball fatigue. Eyeball, Eyeball fati fatigue. Oh. fatigue. EBF. I okay, I said that during that bit. I get it now. Mm -hmm. Dang. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> 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 Just hear him mumbling. <laughs> Who, me or Biden? Both of you. Yeah. Well, we can't hear you because your mouth is full. Oh my gosh. You're both... <laughs> you got a bunch of Biden dick in your mouth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then after you couldn't open the Atoll vodka bottle, you talked about your bag, your. Bitch ass grip. Right. Yes, that lives on. Oh, it does it ever. Thank you, oh. Lauren. Yes. <laughs> that's very. That's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. are great. That's some good ones. Thank you very much. All the way from France. Ash, I'm sorry, Delia had a question for Suits about uh, Ashley. Said I didn't hear her mentioned anymore. I assume things fizzled out, but what happened? I think Suits did address that at one point, didn't he? He just said it uh, fizzled out. Suits! Uh, you making anything happen over there? Get What's a, going on? Get a little heartbreaker. Here's an update, because I know I think you did give us this update before. Yeah, no, we, must have missed it. Uh, we broke up like a, a little over a year ago probably now, so I mean, mm -hmm. we're both still friends every now and then. We have a conversation. She doesn't live in the state anymore. Okay. But, um, I mean, it was very mutual. We just really, it, it was the perfect example of something that just fizzled out. There's really no animosity whatsoever, so. Do, but, yeah, it, it did fizzle out. Do you guys ever, you know, get a couple of wines in you still and text at night when the story? Not in the way you're thinking. <laughs> Not in the way you do. Did you ever break out some Nutella? <laughs> well, I mean, probably do that a couple times a week, Kev. <laughs> 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 Is there anybody else in the room? Just me and the cat. Oh, <laughs> that's hot. Oh, this, is a, this is a weird podcast. I don't know. You're talking about getting fucked in the face by the president. I'm like, I got to bring something weird in here. <laughs> but it, was kind of, it was weird before that, too. It was just a weird yeah, that. You guys really set the bar. We do. It's low, but we set it. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm going to regret saying that. Thank okay. you, Suits. Anything going on in your love life currently? Oh, you, 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 you make any I was so close. You got out. I was so yeah, close to getting out of here. Going. Did you make anything happen at the KVJ movie premiere? You are a star of a film that had a major screening. Yes, uh, I, I was overserved, so no. I did put up like a stand-up comedy routine, though, on the stage there, which I really can't remember. So. Oh, I was there. It was good. It was <laughs> well, your yeah. turn to be KVJ drunk. <laughs> it was my turn to be the drunkest. It's yeah, always it got to be one of us. <laughs> one of us always... Passes the baton to another show member. Well, there was a separate bar up where I was sitting, so it was really easy to keep getting drinks. And well, that's where yeah. the actors were sitting. That was the VIP bar. And I got pretty fucked up. So the rule is, <laughs> the rule is don't be the drunkest. And I was. <laughs> uh, a couple other questions here. Sonia said uh, there is something that's been weighing on me for quite some time now. I just got to get off my chest. It feels like I hear a birthday shout out from Cooper the Pooper all the time. So I got to ask. Could there be more than one Cooper the Pooper, or is it the same person? Is it an animal? I'm confused, and I need answers. I think there's more than one Cooper the Pooper. I think anytime anybody has a baby and names him Cooper, immediately when they notice the baby pooping, his name becomes Cooper the Pooper. It's you've, just like a thing. You've also addressed it before. We've heard from the Cooper the Pooper people. They Usually when anybody in their family has a birthday, they mention Cooper the Pooper, which is, yeah. I, believe, I believe it's a kid. Yes. Yes. The so original, think, the OG Cooper the Pooper is probably about four right now. I think they've got a big family that have a lot of birthdays, obviously, because when you have a lot of families, you have a lot of birthdays. Right. <laughs> Dubber. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I think that's what it is. They have a, they have a big family that listen. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I was thinking. That is uh, Sonia, three years in California and still listen every day. Thank you very Aww. much. How is it out there? Appreciate that. It's a uh, lovely Virginia. It's a lovely place. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to go. I'm on a traveling high after going to New York. Mags is like, let's go to California next. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm on a traveling high. Okay. What is it uh, you'd like to do in California? She wants to go out there and shop because there's stores out there that they don't have here, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah. She loves, like, anything shopping. I'm not a big shopper, but I love the climate in California it is amazing. to me is like the most perfect climate of any place I've ever gone in the whole United mm-hmm. States. It's magical. It's always like the best of what South Florida has to offer. Yeah, like today, day. how today is going to be outside. Mm-hmm. It's like that all the time in California. Yeah. Like, I don't know why my olden years, Montana starts to kind of talk to me a little bit. Montana. That's what John Mayer's been doing. Well, I mean... Cool. <laughs> yeah. Just I, I, it looks pretty to me. No, it is. It's beautiful. But then you go. Oh, it's really pretty. All right. What else? Now is, what? Yeah, I could have watched. Where's this on, the tail? Could have watched it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's you know a couple of national parks and that kind of stuff. A lot of the people that are there, they really enjoy the wildlife stuff. Uh, you're hunting, fishing, doing that kind of stuff. Maybe taking out four wheelers, horseback riding. And, That's a lot of Montana. And I really do love me some Oregon. The the peaceful spots where uh-huh. out out in the uh, mountain. Sure. Do you uh what did you like better, Oregon or California? Or is it pretty much the same to you? I like California better. Uh, for me personally, there. but I've only spent all of uh, two days in Oregon. We kind of and I was in Portland and that was it. That wasn't a real trip either. No, I it think, was yeah. it was quick and there wasn't a lot to it. So yeah, I didn't really get the full experience. Portland seemed to be lovely, but you got did, a lot more time in California. You did, you did get part of that Oregon experience, though. <laughs> yeah, you did. I did, yeah. <laughs> you, I did. You probably hippie. shouldn't have. You damn yeah. hippie. Learned a lesson about <laughs> weed, man. Take a half a drag next time, not two. <laughs> well, he did. He took, he he took, took two big, I took two and thought I was going to be safe. drags. And I was like, all right, I'm going to stop. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was high for like a day and a half. Oh my gosh! And it was weird because at the time that was in that was in front of one of our bosses. They're no longer. It was a different company, but we were smoking in front of him. It, it was just a, I thought it was a trap or something. So then I, after I smoked too, I started getting paranoid. Going, was that a fucking trap? Like, <laughs> is this all being recorded? They're going back to corporate. <laughs> <laughs> but that was not the case. He was very cool. Yeah, he was very cool. And now he uh, works with us again. Does he? Yeah, he does. He's, I think he uh, said that before. I get excited every single time. Okay, yeah, probably. What town I mean, is he in now? I believe he's in Seattle. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That guy was cool. Yeah, I like that cool. guy. I did too. That guy took me and Jaybird out to breakfast. It was me, him, Jaybird. We just chilled and hung out and talked. And Tim, t- he was telling us about his side hustle, yeah. which is fascinating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was the guy who was going to hire us in San Francisco, Virginia. Okay, okay. Do you remember that? Yeah, you yeah. You spent weekend with him there? It's all coming back to me. Okay. Whole weekend. It's 48 hours. But, you know, <laughs> it kind of sounds was, like... He was a big tour of San Francisco. Remember it kind of sounds like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of sounds like to me, Kevin, and the entire audience that you just now realized that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's... It's the same guy. Oh. Same guy, yeah. Same and guy. she'll even smoke You weed. know what? He's lovely. Hey, he is. <laughs> yeah. I loved him the first time and the second time. He's a big fan of you. So upset you he's, didn't go to San Francisco. He's very nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shelly sent this in. This is in New Hampshire. Uh, there's a seven foot a Bigfoot that somebody has there. Who's jealous oh, now, Jay Bird? I am so jealous. She's a big one. That's nice. Now, is that made out of is that wood? Don't it looks know. like somebody put a costume on a seven foot tall okay. wood structure. Maybe I love it. Gosh, mm-hmm. I'm, I, man, I'm, that's not weatherproof no, though. You can't have is. that outside for more than a couple days. That's why I asked. I'm going. Is that weatherproof? It's not. Mm-hmm. Also got uh, Cesar sent this in. This is a new Christmas decoration thing. They've got a cousin Eddie from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. The one where he is uh, outside of the RV. Oh, that's awesome. Shitter's full. You can see that. <laughs> that's a it. good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Oh, it's hilarious. So now they're getting those out there as well. Yeah, dude, the whole house decoration game, I feel like ever since the Wolves, that, that whole Home Depot, big, tall yep. kind of game, for everyone, a bunch of people got the bug on it's those kind of things. Quite literally, keeping up with the Joneses. And you know, see that your neighbors got one. You like, all right, we got to get one. And I know they've been out for a while. I know these, but I feel like they're getting more popular and they're getting bigger, stronger, and more creative. They are. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. That's a good one. You need to shop around though, because there are deals to be had if you shop around for your inflatables. Sometimes just walking like. Into Home Depot or Lowe's is not the best move. I missed the train this year. I didn't get. I didn't get that skeleton. That eleven and a half. Foot well, now's skeleton. the time to get it. I don't right. know, man. You can probably get it on a deal right now. I don't think that's true. Actually, they they become more expensive after the fact. They do. The wolf went up in price. Wow, what? it did. Hmm, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit. That is. A, is a, it seems like odd marketing. <laughs> Because Usually the, the, after Halloween, Halloween decorations are cheaper. Like what's going on in the world? They are no. I would say ninety nine percent of your decorations or your your costumes and all that stuff are. But we're talking about those kind of pieces. They are becoming collectible. They're they're, they're collectibles now, and people gotcha. realize that they're becoming oh. more expensive. All right. Yeah. I don't mean to question you on toys and well, amusements. Okay. Thank you seem to know your stuff. Thank you. <laughs> And on Giving Tuesday, Megan asks, any information on the Little Smiles toy drive this year? Where can we drop off? Are there specific lists of things that need to be purchased? Yes and yes. There are locations on littlesmilesfl.org. You can find boxes. We have a box here at the radio station in our lobby downstairs. You could drop it off there or any of the locations that have a box. Okay. And if you don't have time to go out and shop for a toy and then drop it off at a box, you can just go on there and make a quick like $20 monetary donation or $10 monetary donation. All those little donations, we take kids' lists and go shop and buy stuff with that money. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you very much. Go out and uh, help our charity out. We'd appreciate it. Oh, man, it's over. It's over. <laughs> Burn. Button oh, your shirt up because your nipple's out, and HR would not be too approving of that. I'm thinking like three more minutes. That's not HR compliant with that nipple. Whatever. <laughs> All right, send in your emails. Mail at kvjshow.com. Y'all have a great Tuesday. See you back here tomorrow. Goodbye.